Imagine for a moment that you're standing at the edge of a vast, unexplored wilderness. The path ahead is unclear, filled with twists and turns, obstacles and challenges. But beyond that wilderness lies your dreams, your goals, your deepest desires. What's holding you back from taking that first step? Is it fear? My friends, today I want to share with you a powerful truth that has the potential to transform your life. Don't be afraid to fail. Now, I know what you're thinking. Easy for you to say. You don't know my circumstances. You don't understand the risks I face. And you're right. I don't know your specific situation. Actually, what I do know is us. Every single person who has ever achieved greatness, who has ever made a lasting impact on this world, has faced failure. Not just once, not just twice, but often countless times. Think about it. Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, failed over 1,000 times before he succeeded. When asked about it, he famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. That's the mindset of a true innovator, a true achiever. Or consider J.K. Rowling, the author of that Harry Potter series. Before her books became a global phenomenon, she was a single mother living on welfare, facing rejection after rejection from publishers. But she didn't let those failures define her. Instead, she persevered and look at the magic she created. The truth is, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. It's the stepping stone on the path to achieving your dreams. Each failure teaches something valuable, if we're willing to learn from it. Now, I'm not saying that failure is enjoyable. It can be painful, frustrating, and discouraging. But it's also an opportunity for growth, for learning, for becoming stronger and more resilient. Let me share a personal story with you. Back in my early days as a writer, I poured my heart and soul into a book that I was certain would be my breakthrough. I spent months Crafting every sentence, polishing every paragraph. When I finally submitted it to publishers, I was filled with hope and excitement. And then the rejection started coming in all one after another. Publishers turned down my manuscript. Some were polite, others were harsh. But the message was the same. Now for us, I was devastated. I questioned my abilities, my passion, my very identity as a writer. But when you know what? That experience taught me more about writing, about perseverance, and about myself than any success ever could. I went back to the drawing board. I owned my craft, and I wrote another book. And another, and another. Each time, I got better. Each time, I grew stronger. That's the power of fear when we choose to embrace it rather than fear it. It's not about being knocked down. It's about How we get back up. So how do we cultivate this mindset? How do we learn to embrace failure rather than fear it? Let me share with you five key principles that can help you on this journey. First, redefine failure. Instead of seeing failure as an end, see it as a beginning. Instead of viewing it as a judgment on your world, see it as feedback on your approach. When you change how you perceive failure, you change its power over you. We're going to set realistic expectation. And understand that success rarely comes overnight. It's a journey, often a long and winding one. Expect obstacles. Expect setbacks. But also expect growth, learning, and eventual triumph if you persist. Third, focus on the process, not just the outcome. Too often we fixate on the end result and forget to appreciate the journey. But it's in the journey that we find our greatest lessons, our most profound growth. Enjoy the process of learning, of improving, of becoming better each day. Fourth, cultivate resilience. Resilience is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. Each time you face a setback and choose to keep going, you're building your resilience. You're becoming stronger, more capable of facing future challenges. And fifth, surround yourself with supportive people. We all need cheerleaders in our lives. People who believe in us, even when we struggle to believe in ourselves. Seek out those who encourage you, who lift you up, who remind you of your potential when you face setbacks. Now, 
let's dive deeper into each of these principles. Because understanding them is crucial to overcoming your fear of a failure. First, defining failure is perhaps the most important step in this journey. Our society often portrays failure as something to be ashamed of, something to hide. But the most successful people in history have a different view. They see failure as a teacher, as a guide pointing them in the right direction. Think about scientists conducting experiments. When an experiment fails, do they give up? No. They analyze what went wrong, they adjust their approach, and they try again. Each failure brings them closer to a breakthrough. That's the mindset we need to adopt in our own lives. When you face a setback, instead of asking, why me? Ask, what can I learn from this? Instead of seeing failure as a dead end, see it as a detour leading you to a better path. This shift in perspective can be transformative. Setting realistic expectations is another crucial aspect of overcoming the fear of failure. In today's world, we are often bombarded with stories of overnight successes of people who seem to have it all figured out. But these stories really show the full picture. They don't show the years of hard work, the countless failures, the moments of doubt and despair that preceded the success. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither is a successful career, a loving relationship, or a fulfilling life. It takes time, effort, and yes, failures along the way. By setting realistic expectations, you're preparing yourself mentally and emotionally for the journey ahead. You're giving yourself permission to be imperfect, to make mistakes, to learn and grow. This doesn't mean setting low expectations or not. Naming high. On the contrary, it means understanding that the path to your highest goals will likely be filled with challenges and setbacks. In fact, it's more than okay. It's necessary for your growth. Now let's talk about focusing on the process rather than just the outcome. This is a game changer when it comes to overcoming the fear of failure. When we're solely focused on the end result, every setback feels like a disaster. But when we learn to appreciate the process, we find joy and learning opportunities in every step of the journey. Let's say you're learning to play a musical instrument. If you're only focused on becoming a virtuoso performer, every missed note, every imperfect performance feels like a failure. But if you focus on the process, the joy of creating music, the satisfaction of mastering a new piece, the gradual improvement in your skills. Uh, suddenly those imperfections become less daunting. They become part of the learning process, stepping stones on your path to mastery. The same principle applies to any goal you're pursuing. Whether it's advancing your career, improving your health, or nurturing a relationship, focus on the daily actions, the small improvements, the lessons learned along the way, Celebrate the small victories. Appreciate the person you're becoming through this process. Cultivating resilience is another crucial aspect of overcoming the fear of failure. Resilience is what allows us to bounce back from setbacks, to keep going when things get tough. And here's the beautiful thing about resilience. It's a skill that can be developed and strengthened over time. How do we build resilience? By facing challenges head on, by pushing ourselves out of our comfort zones, by choosing to persevere when it would be easier to give up. Each time you face a difficulty and choose to keep going, you're building your resilience muscle. Think of it like physical exercise. The first time you try to run a mile, it might feel impossible. But if you keep at it day after day, gradually increasing your distance, soon that mile becomes easy. You become stronger, more capable. The same principle applies to mental and emotional resilience. One powerful way to build resilience is through positive self-talk. When you face a setback, pay attention to your inner dialogue. Are you berating yourself or are you encouraging yourself? Practice speaking to yourself with kindness and encouragement the way you would speak to a dear friend facing a challenge. This simple shift can have a profound impact on your resilience and your ability to overcome setbacks. Lastly, let's talk about the importance of surrounding yourself with supportive people. We are profoundly influenced by the people around us. 
their attitudes, their beliefs, their energy. All of these affect us, often in ways we don't even realize. If you're surrounded by people who are afraid to take risks, who see failure as something to be ashamed of, it's going to be much harder for you to overcome your own fear of failure. Huh. But if you surround yourself with people who embrace challenges, who see failure as a learning opportunity, who encourage you to keep going when things get tough, well, that can make all the difference in the world. Seek out mentors who have faced similar challenges and overcome them. Connect with peers who are on a similar journey who can offer support and understanding. And don't be afraid to distance yourself from those who bring you down. Remember, you have the power to choose your influences. Choose wisely. Surround yourself with those who believe in you, who inspire you to be your best self, who will pick you up when you fall and cheer you on as you try again. Oh, I want to address something important. Some of you might be thinking, this all sounds great in theory, but you don't understand my situation. My failures have real consequences. They hear you. And you're right. Failures can have real world consequences. Losing a job, failing a, a crucial exam, a business venture going south. These are not trivial matters. But here's the thing. Avoiding failure doesn't protect you from these consequences. In fact, it often makes them more likely in the long run. When we let the fear of failure control us, we play it safe. We stop taking risks. We stop growing. And in today's rapidly changing world, staying still is actually moving backward. The real risk isn't in failing. It's in not trying at all. Moreover, when we embrace the possibility of failure, we often find that we're more capable of handling its consequences than we thought. We discover strengths we didn't know we had. We find creative solutions we wouldn't have considered otherwise. We learn to adapt. To pivot, to rise above circumstances that once seemed insurmountable. Think about some of the most inspiring success stories you know. Chances are they involve people who face significant failures and setbacks. People who had every reason to give up but chose to keep going. That's not because they were special or lucky. It's because they refused to let the fear of failure hold them back. No, no. I'm not suggesting that you should be reckless or irresponsible. Of course, we should always strive to do our best to prepare thoroughly to minimize unnecessary risks. But we need to recognize that no amount of preparation can completely eliminate the possibility of failure. And that's okay. Because it's often in those moments of failure that we find our greatest opportunities for growth and success. Let me share another personal story with you. Years ago, I was invited to give a speech at a major conference. It was a huge opportunity, one that could potentially launch my career to new heights. I prepared meticulously, rehearsing my speech over and over again. What? When I got on that stage, everything went wrong. I forgot my lines. I stumbled over my words. I could see the audience losing interest. It was, without a doubt, one of the most humiliating experiences of my life. As I left the stage, I was certain that my, my career was over. Who would want to listen to a speaker who couldn't even deliver a simple speech? I was ready to give up, to go back to a safe, predictable job where I wouldn't have to risk such public failure again. And then something unexpected happened. Several people from the audience approached me afterwards. They told me how much they appreciated my authenticity. How refreshing it was to see a speaker who was real and human. One person even said that my struggle on stage had inspired them to face their own fear of public speaking. That experience taught me a valuable lesson. Our failures don't define us. How we respond to them does. What I saw as a catastrophic failure turned out to be a powerful moment of connection and inspiration. It also pushed me to improve my skills, to learn better techniques for managing stage fright, to become a more effective communicator. Had I let the fear of failure hold me back, I would have missed out on all of that growth. I would have missed out on the incredible journey that followed, the opportunities to impact lives and share messages of hope and empowerment. Friends, I urge you, now let the fear of failure hold you back. 
Embrace the possibility of failure as a necessary part of your journey to success. See it as a teacher, a guide, a stepping stone to your dreams. Remember, every great achievement in human history was preceded by numerous failures. The Wright brothers crashed countless times before achieving powered flight. Marie Curie faced years of setbacks and skepticism before her groundbreaking discoveries in radioactivity. Martin Luther King Jr. faced numerous defeats and setbacks in his fight for civil rights before his dream began to become a reality. These individuals didn't succeed because they were immune to failure. They succeeded because they refused to let failure stop them. They kept going, kept learning, kept growing. And so can you, as you leave here today, well, I want you to make a commitment to yourself. Commit to taking one step outside your comfort zone, to trying something you've been afraid to try because of the possibility of failure. It doesn't have to be something big. Small steps lead to big changes over time. Maybe it's applying for that job you think you're not qualified for. Maybe it's finally starting that project you've been putting off. Maybe it's having that difficult conversation you've been avoiding. Whatever it is, take that step. And if you fail, because you might celebrate it, celebrate the fact that you had the courage to try, that you're one step closer to success, that you've learned something valuable. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. It's a teacher, a guide, a necessary step on the path to achieving your dreams. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. Learn from it. Grow through it. You have greatness within you. You have dreams worth pursuing, gifts worth sharing with the world. Don't let the fear of failure rob the world of your unique contributions. Because here's the truth. The only real failure in life is the failure to try to grow. To become the person you're capable of being. Don't go out there, take risks. I make a mistake. Fail spectacularly if you must, but keep going. Keep growing. Keep growing. Because on the other side of your fear, on the other side of failure, lies everything you've ever dreamed of. You are capable of amazing things. You are stronger than you know, more resilient than you believe. And every failure you face is just another opportunity to prove it to yourself. Don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid of not trying. But... Be afraid of staying stuck in your comfort zone while your dreams pass you by. Be afraid of looking back on your life and wondering what if. The only path to success is not a straight line. It's a winding road filled with ups and downs, triumphs and setbacks. But every step of that journey is valuable. Every failure, every setback, every moment of doubt, these are all part of your unique story, your unique path to greatness. So embrace the journey. Embrace the challenges, embrace the failures. Because each one is bringing you closer to becoming the person you're meant to be, to achieving the dreams you hold in your heart. And remember, you are not defined by your failures. You are defined by how you respond to them. Choose to respond with courage, with resilience, with a determination to learn and grow. Choose to see each failure as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. As you go from here, carry is truth with you. You have everything you need within you to overcome any obstacle, to rise from any failure, to achieve any dream you set your mind to. Believe in yourself. Trust in your ability to learn, to grow, to overcome. We're always waiting for your unique gifts, your unique voice, your unique contributions. Don't let the fear of failure keep you from sharing them. Show us the beautiful truth. Huh? When you overcome your failure and when you step boldly into the arena of life, you inspire others to do the same. Your courage becomes contagious. Your resilience becomes a beacon of hope for others. So go forth with courage, with hope, with a determination to embrace failure as a teacher and a guide. Go forth knowing that every setback is setting you up for a comeback. Go forth with the knowledge that your greatest successes often lie on the other side of your biggest failures. Don't be afraid to fail. Be excited to learn, to grow, to become. Because that's what life is all about. It's about becoming the fullest, most authentic version of yourself. End that journey. 
with all its ups and downs, all its successes and failures, is the greatest adventure you'll ever embark on. You have greatness within you. You have dreams worth pursuing. You have a unique purpose to fulfill. Don't let the fear of failure hold you back from embracing your true potential. Each day presents new opportunities to grow, to learn, and to make a positive impact on the world around you. It's natural to feel apprehensive about taking risks or stepping outside your comfort zone, but remember that growth often lies just beyond the boundaries of what feels safe and familiar. But failure holds you back from embracing your true potential. Each day presents new opportunities to grow, to learn, and to make a positive impact on the world around you. It's natural to feel apprehensive about taking risks or stepping outside your comfort zone. But remember that growth often lies just beyond the boundaries of what feels safe and familiar. Think about the people you admire most in your life. Chances are they didn't achieve their goals by playing it safe or avoiding challenges. They likely face numerous setbacks and obstacles along the way. But what sets them apart is their resilience and determination to keep moving forward despite adversity. Consider for a moment the incredible advancements we've seen in various fields over the past. From medical breakthroughs to technological innovations, these achievements were not born from a fear of failure, but from a relentless pursuit of progress and a willingness to learn from mistakes. Imagine if the Wright brothers had given up. After their initial failed attempts at flight. What if Thomas Edison had abandoned his quest to invent the light bulb after his first or even his hundred? The world would be a very different place without the contributions of those who dare to dream big and persevere in the face of repeated failures. You don't have to be inventing groundbreaking technologies or making world-changing discoveries to embrace this mindset. Every day, in small ways and large, you have the opportunity to push beyond your perceived limitations and strive for something greater. Perhaps you've always wanted to learn a new skill, like playing a musical instrument or speaking a foreign language. The path to mastery in these areas is often riddled with mistakes and moments of frustration. But it's precisely the, these challenges that make the journey worthwhile and the eventual success so sweet. Or oh, maybe you have a business idea that you've been hesitant to pursue because you're afraid it might not succeed. While it's important to do your due diligence and plan carefully, at some point, you need to take that leap of faith. Even if your first venture doesn't turn out exactly as you hoped, the experience and knowledge you gain would be invaluable for your future endeavors. In our personal relationships too. Fear of failure can hold us back from forming deep connections or expressing our true selves. Opening up to others, being vulnerable, and showing our authentic selves can feel risky. But it's through these genuine interactions that we form the most meaningful bonds and experience the richness of human connection. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of the journey towards success. Each setback provides valuable lessons that can inform your future actions and decisions. Instead of viewing failures as endpoints, try to see them as stepping stones, each one bringing you closer to your goals. It's also important to reframe how we think about failure. Often, what we perceive as failure in the moment can lead to unexpected positive outcomes. Many successful entrepreneurs can point to earlier failures that ultimately led them to their current success. The key is to maintain an open mind and be willing to adapt your approach based on what you learn from each experience. Moreover, embracing the possibility of failure can actually liberate you from the paralysis of perfectionism. When you accept that not everything will go perfectly, you free yourself to take action rather than endlessly planning or procrastinating. This doesn't mean being careless or reckless but rather understanding that progress often comes through iteration and improvement rather than achieving perfection on the first try. Consider adopting a growth mindset. A concept popularized by psychologist Carol Dweck. This mindset is based on the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort, learning, and persistence. With a growth mindset, challenges become opportunities. 
to improve rather than threat. When you encounter obstacles or face criticism, try to view these experiences as chances to learn and grow. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to become better? This approach not only helps you bounce back from setbacks more quickly, but also allows you to extract valuable insights from every experience, whether it's perceived as a success or failure. It's also crucial to surround yourself with supportive people who encourage your growth and celebrate your efforts, not just your successes. Seek out mentors, friends, or communities that understand the value of taking risks and learning from failures. Their support can be invaluable when you're facing challenges or doubting yourself. And remember that everyone, even the most successful individuals, experiences self-doubt and fear of failure at times. The difference lies in how they respond to these feelings. Instead of letting fear paralyze you, use it as a signal that you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and growing. Developing resilience is key to overcoming the fear of failure. Resilience isn't about never falling down. It's about getting back up each time you do. It's a skill that can be cultivated through practice. Each time you face a setback and choose to persevere, you're building your resilience muscle. One practical way to build resilience is to start small. Set achievable goals that push you slightly out of your comfort zone. As you accomplish these smaller objectives, you build confidence in your ability to overcome challenges, making it easier to tackle bigger goals in the future. Another helpful strategy is to visualize success. Spend time imagining yourself overcoming obstacles and achieving your goals. This mental rehearsal can help build confidence and prepare you to face real world challenges. It's also important to practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself when things don't go as planned. Treat yourself with the same understanding and encouragement you would offer a good friend facing a similar situation. Remember that making mistakes doesn't make you a failure. It makes you human. Consider keeping a failure resume or a lessons learned journal instead of only celebrating your successes. Document your setbacks and what you've learned from them. This practice can help you see the value in your struggles and track your growth over time. Remember that failure is not a reflection of your worth as a person. Your value doesn't diminish because of setbacks or mistakes. You are worthy of love, respect, and success regardless of your achievements or failures. As you move forward, challenge yourself to take calculated risks. Start that project you've been putting off. Apply for that job you think might be out of your reach. Share your ideas, even if they're not fully formed. Embrace the uncertainty and see it as an adventure rather than a threat. Consider the worst case scenario when you're hesitating to take action due to fear of failure. Often you'll find that even the worst possible outcome isn't as catastrophic as your fears make it out to be. And in many cases, the regret of not trying can be far more painful than any temporary setback. Remember too, that failure is often a matter of perspective. What looks like failure in the short term may prove to be a valuable redirection in the long run. Stay open to unexpected opportunities that may arise from what initially seems like a setback. Embrace a spirit of curiosity and experimentation. Approach new challenges with a mindset of let's see what happens rather than I must succeed. This attitude can take some of the pressure off and allow you to enjoy the process of learning and growing. Finally, celebrate your efforts and your willingness to try, not just your successes. Acknowledge the courage it takes to put yourself out there to take risks and to persist in the face of challenges. Every time you choose to act, despite your fear of failure, you're growing stronger and moving closer to your goals. Remember, the path to success is rarely a straight line. <laughs> it's a journey filled with twists and turns, ups and downs. Embrace this journey with all its uncertainties and challenges. For it's through these experiences that you'll discover your true strength, resilience, and potential. You have within you everything you need to face your fears, overcome obstacles, and achieve your dreams. Trust in your ability to learn, adapt, and grow. Believe in the power of your efforts and your resilience.
And most importantly, don't let the fear of failure prevent you from pursuing what truly matters to you. Your unique experiences, perspectives, and talents are needed in this world. By embracing the possibility of failure, you open yourself up to incredible opportunities for growth, innovation, and fulfillment. So step forward boldly, knowing that every attempt, every mistake, and every lesson learned is shaping you into the person you're meant to become. Who was waiting for your contributions? Your ideas and your unique spark? Don't keep it waiting. Embrace the journey with all its uncertainties and because in the end, it's not about avoiding failure. It's about living fully, learning constantly and becoming the best version of yourself. So go forth with courage, with hope and with the knowledge that you are capable of amazing things. Your journey of growth and self-discovery is just beginning and the possibilities are endless. Embrace them all and let your light shine brightly for all the world to see. Hey there, welcome to my channel Music Library BD. Today I speak Don't Be Afraid to Fail. Filled with twist challenges, but beyond dreams, your goal, your deepest desire, God's holding you back from talking. That first step is it. Fair, my friends, today I want to share with you powerful truth that has the potential afraid to fail now. I know what you are thinking. Easy for you to say you don't know my circumstance. I face you specific situation to what I do. Is this every single person who has ever achieved greatness, who has ever made lasting impact on this world, has faced failure not just once, not just twice, but Often countless times, think about it, Thomas Edison, inventor of the light bulb, failed. Before he succeed, when asked about it, the famously and said, have not failed it. Mindset of a true inventor, true achiever, all consider.